Joining me now from here in Washington is Amitav Ghosh. He's a space scientist who has worked on NASA's Mars missions since 1997. Good to see you again. Thank you. So it's this, a pleasure. This three-person crew is expected to return back to Earth any day now. We've seen spacewalks, we've seen experiments, some talkbacks here to Earth, and some pretty amazing photographs. So what do you think are some of the biggest lessons learned from this space mission? Well, the lessons are gradual. Um, so you, um, so I guess the biggest lesson is to perhaps operate this and c conduct the experiments. And so if, if you're not going to get a drastic scientific result um, that this soon, but I think the whole experience of living in space and conducting um, experiments in space, and some of it is very significant. Like, you know, there, there were many international um, science experiments, like the experiment of growing tumors in space from Norway. So drastic results will not happen very soon, but I think the whole experience of staying in space itself is a very big one. When you look at this particular mission, in addition to uh, what China is doing on the far side of the, of the moon and, of course, Mars, what does this all mean for a manned mission to the moon by China? What are the prospects there, and, and how long before we see something like that? So I think um, China has something, a, a launch vehicle in development, which would perhaps, I think it's a long March 9, which will be ready in um, uh, 2030 for a manned mission to the moon. But as I think there are reports out there uh, that they're trying to patch together uh, the long march uh, five, I think, uh, modify it so that they can carry astronauts to the moon. So I think the moon is going to be the next destination. The US is going to launch um, manned, um, a manned mission to the moon in 2024. And so that is going to be the next frontier. And as for Mars, I guess um, uh, NASA has plans to bring samples back from Mars, um, and China has um, perhaps announced a manned mission uh, in 2033 to Mars. So that's very significant. I, I'm sure it is in the developmental stages, but that is perhaps the intention. Let's stay on Mars for a moment. I know that is your specialty. Uh, China's Zhurong rover has outlived its life expectancy now. 100 days on the red planet and i think if, if you can give us a little insight uh, i understand that this rover is going to go dark for a little while and then come back up to explore another part of mars sometime in november what are you hearing there right so this is nothing special to the um chinese rover mission it's just that um so so the earth and mars both go around the sun and right now Mars is going to be on the other side of the sun. So you cannot have radio communications with Mars. So all Martian spacecraft, including Chinese, the Chinese spacecraft and, the, and, the, and NASA spacecraft, will lose communication. So they have to learn a way to keep alive um, and have an automated set of commands being executed over this period of uh, communication um, um, you can say communication blackout. All right, some exciting uh, days and weeks ahead. Amitav Ghosh, always great to see you. Thank you for joining us. Absolutely. It's a pleasure.